Pentagon loses track of 500 million in weapons equipment given to Yemen. Now, this is just an example. I know you've covered this already, but this is an example of how insane they are and how they truly don't care. Show folks, it's aircraft. We're yeah. talking jets. Let's talk about this. This is actually battleships, cruisers. Here's what they lost in equipment given to Yemen. They the document lost, cam that. Just like they quote unquote lost those nukes. They lost 1.25 million rounds of ammunition, 200 Glock pistols, 200 M4 rifles, four helicopters, two Cessnas, two coastal patrol boats, 160 Humvees, 250 suits of body armor, 300 sets of night vision goggles. Again, this totals $500 million. And they accidentally left all those bases for Al Qaeda and ISIS to get in Iraq. No. Our military refused to fly it to them, so they filled up the bases and turned it over to them. And guess what? There's more coming. They still have not yet... By the way, Yemen is supplying al-Qaeda. Oh, of course, and they have not yet delivered 48 Jeep tactical vehicles for... Tell them about that, 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 that gunboat. Yeah, the two coastal patrol boats or the uh, transport and surveillance aircraft. They have everything. They, this is enough to equip an army to kill anyone. They have a, not only surveillance aircrafts, but they have patrol boats, Humvees, top level body suits of armor, night vision goggles, which are extremely expensive, 200 M4 rifles, four Huey helicopters. Read all the other jets. Then they have what is not yet... Unmanned eagle drones that, by the way, ISIS now has that very drone. This is so obvious. Yep. Surve the Iraqi president, by the way, says we're arming them through Yemen. Absolutely. I mean, this is this is obvious. I mean, and then they say, oh, they lost track of the $500 million of, of all of this, is this aircrafts and boats and weaponry. And then we're supposed to believe that they would never transfer a nuclear weapon without telling us? Is that really what, that, I mean, that guy's laughing at us. <laughs> yeah, right, we can trust the government. They've never done anything bad. How about losing $500 million of weapons to give to Al-Qaeda? Well, I mean, I've got the articles right here from Mainstream News in 2007. At first, I remember actually Webster Tarpley, his credit had the sources, and we had some as well. He was like, it is not one cruise missile, it is six fully loaded. And then they went and killed the people on the base. Within a week, like six or seven were like being shot in the head and found dead. They were the ones that loaded them and followed orders. I don't know what was going on with that. The word, they were about to fly it to the Middle East when base security in Louisiana stopped them. Remember in 2011, Reuters revealed that Obama was arming Syrian rebels to kill Christians with all their top, you know, weaponry systems and giving everything right over to them, arming them with weapons and giving them money. I mean, it's totally obvious. It's absolutely ridiculous that anyone would think that we can trust this arm of the government that is obviously arming al-Qaeda, letting them use our weaponry to behead 30 Christians in a public square and watch them squirm and die and dance in their blood. It was and hundreds this week. Well, I mean, I was sat there this morning. I have the clip when I'm trying to play it, um, but I, I forget the exact headline. It's like, stop being, uh, stop throwing fits was the headline. You can go to CNN and we'll show it. And McCain goes, we got to stop Assad in Iran. We got to stop Assad and ISIS. ISIS is the opposite group. I mean, they just know the public is stupid. And we have to stop them by giving this hearing. McCain met with the leader of ISIS a year and a half ago. There's photos of him. Yep. There it is, McCain to Obama. Get over your temper tantrum, Mr. President, and focus on ISIS. And then you watch the CNN clip, and he literally, uh, it's just unbelievable. They think we are genuinely mentally gone. They think they can do anything at this Well, a lot of the public is. I, I mean, obviously. But it, it doesn't care. mean that, I mean, here's one thing. If they were trying to build up liberty in this country and doing dirty stuff, it'd be bad enough. I'd be against it. They're screwing us over, taking our freedom. These are bad people. It's not even as some people think that the system is building up the high-level income earners and all, you know, the corporations are all in on it and stuff. Even Google is infighting with different sections of the government. It's all a big fight to glutton oneself with everything. They're not happy with just a big chunk of it. No one wins. It's a total chaos, total immoral attack on all of us. It's stupid. It is. Anyone who falls for this, unfortunately... Well, I'm telling you, if I was the globalist, I'd set off a nuke in a city and blame it on the liberty movement. And, uh, and and basically declare civil emergency, a.k.a. martial law. Everything's building towards that. The table is set. I don't know if they're going to pull it, but we're here exposing it and trying to stop it. You are watching the best of the Alex Jones Show. Weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at Infowars.com forward slash show or become a member of Infowarsnews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.